So hello, welcome back to the stream of Survival Man VR, or if you're new, welcome to the Survival Man VR stream. I'm Jackie, your host for today, and today we have Les Strott with us, the original, the original person who did all this Survivor thing that we're going to just play right now. Hello, Les. Hey, Jackie, it's good to see you again. Yeah, it's great to see you. So without further ado, let's jump right back in to the game that we left off last time. So last time we went to like all these crazy like places and we and we like tried to survive from a helicopter crash, I remember, and then we made a snowshoes. And then yeah. we went down. And I think you learned a, you learned a lot along the way about about just you've got to you've got to take care of yourself. You gotta yeah. watch your stamina, you gotta watch how cold you get, you gotta keep your energy up, you gotta keep the fire going. It's a real yep. challenge. So let's see how you do this time around, carrying exactly. it on. If this is our first time in your stream. Uh, there's calories and the heat temperature. Those are things that you need to keep your watch on in order to survive properly. And if I remember correctly, there is a backpack right here. Yeah, with all the energy bars and a camera and everything that I need to survive. Whew. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, what we did, yeah. what we did, Jackie, was uh, the reason for the watch was that uh, obviously because it's a, a. And you go ahead, you carry on and do what you got to do while I talk. Right. The reason why why it was um, it was necessary uh, to have that watch. Is basically your bio check is because uh, it, you know it, you are involved in a VR game here, and it's impossible for you to actually be cold while you're doing it, or actually be hungry. But it's a great way to 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 to, to have something that monitors the actions you're actually taking while you're working in this simulation, and when you're not taking the correct actions. You, the watch is giving you that warning, and if you're not paying attention, it's like not paying it's it, it's it's like not paying attention to the fact that you're getting cold. Yep. That's exactly right. So I hope that works for us. So what are you up to now? So I just I think I just picked up some berries and this moss, I think. Or is it mushroom? It's it's uh yeah, it's that is uh reindeer like and it's uh, it's it, you can eat it. It gives you some calories. Whoa, uh, some really? starches starches and nutrients. I see. Let me try Oh no way! I ate it. What but that's a reindeer what? It's called reindeer moss or reindeer lichen. Oh uh, and uh, yep. It's all over the Arctic, okay. <laughs> all through the boreal forest. I just heard something entirely different, and I was like, "Is this? Did I just eat like reindeer poop? Is this how it looks like?" Yeah. <laughs> but no, no, it's a reindeer moss. It just looks like it. And I'm, I'm, I suppose I can just eat this berries too, right? Straight away. Yeah, it just gives me ten calories. Whoa! Drop the energy bar. Nope. Okay, let me just put that right there. Oh, there you go. All right. And that's just for, for anybody who's tu tuning into this stream who missed the first stream. Mm -hmm. At this point, the as in the survival mode, what you know, what you've done is you've you've been in that helicopter crash. You're in the snow, brutally cold, up at the top of the mountain. You discovered that there were things within the helicopter yep, that yep. you could uh, you could use for survival, uh, including making some snowshoes out of out of old junk, broken plastic. Uh, and then, and then uh, we we got you down the hill, and if, if you remember correctly, that was hopping in. Uh, I, I think uh, sort of well, you slid down the hill. Yeah, with like uh, a giant know. pole. Yeah, right there, this one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And using that pole also to determine whether or not you can cross the glacier. Mm -hmm. So all these things have happened to get you down to where you are now, which is, as you can see, it's the lower part of the tundra. So you're closer to the ocean, which is why yeah, that's where you came from. It's way yeah. up there. Oh, you're closer to the ocean, so now you've got the opportunity to see that there are things that are growing that you can eat. There might yeah. be there might be something that you can catch that you can eat. Um, I can't remember if we got that far in the in the first stream, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you're in a, a different zone of survival now. It's warmer yeah. down there, um, and, but you can still get fires going, and you can still, as I say, you can still catch a few things to eat. So, yeah. all right, let's, let's see what you, how you do here. Okay. Yep, because uh, I remember I started with body temperature 36 degrees, which is default, with 5,000 calories, and my calories are going down rapidly. So is my body temperature, so I gotta look for something to warm me up. I saw this little circle, and I'm pretty sure this is, yep, this is like the uh, quest list that I need to do. Place, pull, hang wire, place rocks, and wa wait patiently. Okay. So right. So this is this is a good spot. So which was really interesting when we de developed the game. This is a good spot for you to set up a rabbit snare. Oh, whoa! Right. 
Yeah, okay? no, you no, see? yeah. Now, here's the problem. So you're, while you try and figure out how mm. to utilize the wire that you have, the pole there, and rocks, because uh -huh. you see, I could, well, I could help yes, you a little bit here. Wire. The bottom so line is you're going to set up a rabbit snare. Hand. The problem with setting a rabbit snare up in that area yeah. is there's nothing to tie anything now to. So there you go. You used your pole. You oh. used the wire. Oh. And now, the it, see, you're setting up a snare. Now, here's the problem, though. The rabbit needs to be forced to walk through there, which it's never going to do. Yeah. So what you do is you create a bit of a fence with ro the rocks. So you want to get some rocks uh -huh. and create like a, um, a V-shaped fence to uh fence. to force the rabbit to sort of go through there all right oh i see one rock right there i think i was like wondering like which <laughs> like like what kind of size of rock do i have to get i think this is a yeah this this when is a rock runs, there you go exactly right just like there. that rabbit so I, and i would i don't know if i'd put it in my pack i think i would just or maybe you can you can do that or you can carry them back yeah, uh but what back. of course that's gonna gonna kill a lot of calories so you got to remember where you were you want to get oh, back no, to where yeah, you're true <laughs> I could have got him with one too. It's much closer. Well, okay, so B shaped okay. rocks. Oh, like maybe here? No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that's very logical. You need rocks to support it, but I'm not sure if it's like actually there. I would get them down onto the ground. Okay. Yeah. So you wanna you wanna make like oh. a fence that's like a funnel. That, that forces the rabbit to walk into that snare. Oh, oh, I see. I need to place 12 rocks. <laughs> I read that wrong. I was like, two go. rocks. Nope, nope, it was 12 rocks. Oh my god, I messed there up. There you go. <laughs> I was so yeah. happy just having no, two I mean, rocks in my hands. I, yeah? What this does, Jackie, while you're around searching for those rocks, and don't put them up there. I'd put. Uh, you want them to go oh, down yeah. onto the ground. Oh, I see. Uh, I think you it just automatically create... put it there. So maybe yeah, more rocks. Yep. We'll go around it. Yep. See, what, again, what you're doing yeah. here is it's kind of really tricky to snare a rabbit in an area like that. Mm -hmm. You have to create this little fence line. And the fence line is like a funnel that points to the snare. So ah. a V, a, a V that points to the, with the snare in the middle, in the peak of the V, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And you use like the rock. Yes, exactly like a fish trap. Good, good analogy. Yeah, I remember making little fish traps when I was a kid, and then just to put them in the like a riverside beside, and then catch fishes like that. But I never knew you could catch rabbits like that. But it makes sense. Yep. Does it actually work in real it's, life? It's like a real life trap that I'm making right now. Well, that's right? just a, what what you're doing is pretty close to the reality of what you would do if you were actually there and in that survival situation. So. Right. Have you ever done this yourself too? Doug? Did you did you need to do this to get the rabbits less? I've done ex I've done exactly that, and I wow. and uh, I used to actually uh, would do it. I would practice a lot, and I would r put up a lot of different snares. Uh, um, it's really it's it's a lot easier in the snow, but it does work this way too. You know, it's set up these uh, these V shaped fences either with sticks or with rocks, and then yeah, you come back the next day and you've got yourself a a, a meal. Oh wow. So it's 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 an actual uh, and actually in the Survivor Man series itself, if you go back in time and you watch, um, uh, there's one episode we call the plane crash episode, uh -huh. and in that episode I set up some snares and I and I was super super lucky because I caught a rabbit that night, which is to wow. catch a rabbit the very first night is pretty pretty outstanding, pretty rare really. Uh, but amazing. I got lucky. That's all it was. I just got lucky and um, got myself a meal. <laughs> and that was all caught on camera and was able to show it for uh, uh, for the Survivor Man episode at the time. And that's kind of where Andrew, the developer or, or the designer of this, um, got the idea was, you know, what about, can we can we snare a, a snare? It's actually, to, to use proper terminology, it's a snowshoe hare. So it's not really a rabbit. It's, it's we would call it a snowshoe hare. Oh, it's like a And uh, a snowshoe hare, exactly. Snowshoe hare, yeah. yeah. And... And that's uh, so. Yeah, realistically, we we can we can do that in this area. Now you're putting the rocks down kind of sloppily. You're gonna want to try and create that that that. There we go. There oh. we go. You see what you, what's happening oh. here? So you see now the yeah, rabbit kind of has no choice. 
Yeah, yeah. it's like a little shape. Of course, we still got to... Right, so what's going to... I'm going to give you a little uh, uh, spoiler alert here. What's going to happen eventually is you got to watch out for where you see a snowshoe hare running around. Oh. And then you want to kind of try kind of chase it a little bit down I'm into this this direction using oh. a snare is a waiting game it's actually the good thing about so let's get to uh, figure out right. how many rocks Wait, you've I'm done up. and, and oh uh, there's a rubber oh my god there you go there you go there you go whoa that was super lucky i'm so thrilled if it's cooked it was thrilling there you go you just got yourself a meal oh no oh that is so cute oh my god i don't i don't think i can kill this less it looks so it's already dead it's already dead Oh, I guess so. It's it's like it's yours now, and so put it, I'd put it in your backpack because that is now a meal. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh no, I feel terrible at there the same time. I feel kind of good for achieving this. Of course. This. You know what? You know what? You're you're actually speaking a really uh, a very viable truth there. As much as I've been out in nature and had to survive, and I've had to take you know use deadfalls and snares to capture game. Yeah. Uh, I I don't care who you are. Well, maybe there's some people who are very cold-hearted about it, but I always feel bad. I mean, I have to survive. I've got to eat, but that doesn't mean I don't have emotions. And that's a true reality of survival, too. you got to be out there, and, man, you go through all kinds of mixed emotions, uh, but especially when I'm doing it, you know, as an expedition that I'm filming for Survivor Man. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like, okay, do I really need this? Do I really need to ki uh, kill this rabbit right now? And and figure that out so it's not about being it's not a bloodthirsty situation it's about reality and what you need to do to survive so yeah it does rabbits are cute Sna mm -hmm. snowshoe, ser snowshoe hairs are cute uh but they're also tasty so yeah i agree there we go you're, you're getting sad. lots of good food which is great yep yeah i'm just eating right. this munches before i go back down i think last time i yeah, saw start. like a cabin right there yeah right there right there but i'm not sure if i can cross it through here because i'm pretty sure this this river is like icy cold. I mean, we just literally came yeah. down from the ice, and the river is coming from the mountain, icy mountain. So uh, I'm not you've sure got to I'm find a way across that river. You might have to go upstream a bit, but you've got to find some way of getting down right. that river. Right upstream, right there. Oh yeah, I see. Or, it. Sorry, getting a, getting across that river. Yep, cross the river. Whoo, okay. How do you cross the river? That's a big question. I mean, I don't see no bridges, nothing like that. Uh, I just see ice. Whoa! Take a look over there. Okay, listen up. See. I know what you're thinking. You see nothing. Oh, you have to pay attention where's the volume? To the landscape. Right now, you're used to seeing only natural features. So what looks? Can you hear that guy? There? Yep, yep. I can hear that perfectly fine. Straight can you lines. I bet you no, some kind of not yet. Hurricane. I'll bet you it's a structure. But how oh, do you get okay. From here. Yep. You just told me that I have to, I have to go oh. build a structure to get around there. Is I think what I'm getting at. Okay, let's look at my watch. Cross river. Oh my god, my stamina is running pretty low. You could eat some of that food. Yep, that is true. You see, that's the thing. That's how this starts to blend with a simulation and like a real survival situation. You just can't mm -hmm. keep going. It's like, okay. no, you, all that work you've been doing, building that snare and everything, you need to drink water, you need yep. to get some food. And bring your stamina back up. You've got power bars. You've got berries. You've got. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get anything that I can. I feel like. What was, what was this? What was in, what was in here? Oh yeah, rags. Right. right. These, these were things that you got from the helicopter. Remember, so yeah, we gotta be where you're, where, where you're gonna end up using those. Yeah. Okay, I am very tempted <laughs> as a gamer myself to just see what happens if I get in there, but I also feel like uh, I shouldn't do that. Well, you know, I, that's up to you. I can't tell you how to how to do your own gaming, so... Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, you're getting cold. Oh my god, I need fire and I need it soon. Oh, or I should go to the building right there. Can I maybe use the pole? To, like, shift things around? Oh, no. Whoa! Oh no! Oh my god. Aha. Oh no, I have died. God, that is... There uh, we go. That didn't happen the last time we played, but there you go. You no. do the wrong thing, and... What, what, was, what, what did I tell... When my little uh, my avatar came up there, what did I tell you to do? You told me to build a bridge, I think. You think? Using different tools. I, I kind of was lost 
in uh, since you couldn't hear it i was kind of worried but i think that's what happened cross the river i don't uh, funnily enough i don't remember myself what happens no right problem. here i don't know if i got to this section maybe i can try to figure it out a little bit <laughs> what i'm thinking right now is just like crossing it myself without like the fear of the hit but uh, i don't think that's gonna work at all um if you would do it here i think well the only thing that i have that is useful is a pole but mm. i can't do much with this so the only thing that i'm thinking of is what if i just like get on an ice and then maybe like shift my way there but i don't think i don't think that's how it works oh oh no yep i forgot once you lose items it's like forever lost isn't it so you have to put it there yep right there yep uh, okay maybe i should check the places up top or can maybe do that. ah less i really should have listened to you carefully this is what happens if you don't listen yeah. Yep. Don't be like me, people. Oh my god. I am lost. I am cold. My stamina is getting lower. Well, I'm pretty sure there was nothing that way except for some berries and reindeer moss. Huh, maybe if I go a little bit upstream, it might work. Let me try that one more time. Okay. I have wires. I have if, camera. If, if, it, yep. if there's a way to get uh, get that that avatar to pop back up again to give you the instruction, mm -hmm. I think I can save and reload one more time, no, it, so things are a little bit clearer. And I wonder now. So I'm trying to remember how how you got this far, and I'm wondering if mm -hmm. I can't remember. I got to be honest. I'm trying to remember. I, I don't remember how to get across the. Uh, the creek and i'm wondering if you didn't grab the right if yeah. you didn't grab enough yeah i'm thinking the tools same maybe maybe that's the problem maybe there was something down there that needed some that that contained some kind of clue as to how we could do this i'm gonna check with andrew right now oh while you're god. playing there's another rabbit right there does it mean that i can build multiple traps oh my god or maybe it's just maybe it's just a cute little rabbit going around Oh wow, but I gotta say, this is beautiful. It actually feels mm. like, and I'm, I'm kind of amazed that I'm having the same experiences as you are. Like I said last time, oh my god, what is that? Whoa. Les, I think I found a way. I think this is it. Okay. This, this riverbed is frozen enough, but I gotta, I gotta check, oh uh -huh. my god. Right, oh, yeah. so maybe it's not all. Uh, yeah, oh exactly. my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Be careful. <laughs> get your oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Jesus. No. No. Whew. Oh my god. Don't check it out. Did you get across? No, 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 no. <laughs> but uh, I think I uh, I, 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 I drooped my toe in there a little right. bit. Okay, but keep going. Yep, yep. I gotta keep going. There's no other way. Oh, this is like uh, the crevices. Oh, this all is over. for real. I mean, I've, I've done this before and it's really scary. Oh, I bet. The the sound of ice cracking that gives me the... Oh my god! That gives me the chills. Like no other. Oh, you okay, so I can't hear what you're hearing. Oh, okay. But you can hear that, you can hear that, eh? The water and everything? No, no, I'm saying, um, uh, you know, in the real situation, like normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there oh. would be like, uh, when you step on the ice. Uh, if, you, if you're not careful oh, yeah. enough, you hear those ice cracking. And uh, it's really dangerous when it starts to. Oh, did it? Did it pause? Yeah, it paused. Oh, I'm resuming. Oh my God! Yep, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, I'm back in the. Get across. Back. Yep. Whoa! No, I just hear like a little, little sound where. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! I am not. Am I halfway there? I'm halfway there. I'm halfway there. Yeah, I just hear a little cracking sounds. I think you can call it that. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh my god. Cool. And I've heard a lot of stories where people would die if they go under this rivers because of the currents. They can't find Oh, it'd be awful, out. yeah. No, it'd be awful. It, it, it's it's oh, a terrifying... Oh my god! Oh! oh down you go. <laughs> Close, though. You're getting the idea. I am getting the idea. I am getting the idea. And, and this, was, this is where we, you know, where, again, where we blended this reality of, you know, uh, these are actions that, that oh truly take place in yeah. a situation like this, you know, yeah. and uh, I've done it. I've had to cross creeks like this that were flowing, but they were big chunks of ice that were thick mm -hmm. enough to walk on and you, you know, you, but you've got to do it carefully to get across. Now, is this how you got, a, you found the spot? You went upstream? Yep, yep, yep. I just went upstream to check out if I missed any tools. Good. And, you know, I, I just good, found good, out. Good. Oh my god, that was so scary. <laughs> oh my god, it felt so real. My back is so... Just, I'm just sweating so much. I just feel so <laughs> real. <sighs> oh my god, so okay. Yeah, so we want to find... This looks like the spot. Yep, yep. This is the spot. Carefully now. Now. Carefully this yep. time. Okay. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Whoo, no, bad start. Bad start. Okay, was it here? Okay. So you so it's yes, all about finding the solid footing. And yep. it's going to make you, you know, w you know, the problem is you're tempted to yeah. go straight across. That's what you really yep. want to do. You want to go straight across. But that's not the way it's going to work with ice. You've got no. to follow the thick ice and yeah. stick to the thick ice. And yep. and where it's where you're not able to break it through, that's where you can walk. If you do that, Mm -hmm. You should be able to get across to the other side. That's the idea here. <laughs> Sorry, I am just so focused. <laughs> As you should be. Oh, this is wow. not the time where you can just be casual. Yep. And just. And you're on. You're on an ice bridge right now, so you're fine. Yep. Just stay safe. Stay on the ice bridge. Oh wow, okay, okay, that was real close, and that was very, that was too close. Yeah, if you start moving too fast, you're going to just walk right into the water, right? Yep, that is very true. Okay, that's not the way. That's definitely not the way. That is not the way either. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that is not the way either? Where am I going? There? Maybe that's the way. Please tell me this is the way. Oh no, oh no. Nope. Is that the way? This this seems solid enough. <gasps> okay, yep, 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 okay. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. And uh, us just talking about all that danger I know, you're, in the river. You're actually you're actually making me hold my breath while I watch you do this. <laughs> yeah. One getting closer. Take your time. Take your time. It's right there. See, it's right naked. there. I know, but take your time. Don't yep. fall in. Yeah, I've, I'm just so tempted just the to only, rush there, but I cannot. Yeah, the, o the only way to travel in a survival situation mm -hmm. is slowly and cautiously. And that's what this is teaching you. you, you there's no option here. You can't just boogie across here quickly. No. You can't jump across like you're Super Mario or something. No. This is for real here, so... Uh, and you're doing a good job, yep. but it's Thank spooky. You, Is this it? Am I free? Oh! No. Oh my God! Careful! Oh. <laughs> Did you make it? No, I made it! I made it! I made it! I was, I was close it. enough, I think. Oh Woo, wow! Look at that! Look at that! Oh golly, I did it! I wow! Did it. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Check your temperatures, your, your appearance. Yep. So now let's get, maybe, uh, I think it's about, uh, yeah, let's go exploring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe it. That was like pretty short. It looks pretty short, but what it, what felt like it was just an eternity. Felt like an eternity. Whew. Mm -hmm. Wow. But I gotta say, even if I'm watching this in VR, it looks amazing. And I bet it, would, it looks even more amazing when you actually watch it yourself less. Mm -hmm. All the nature mm -hmm. around. Oh, it's mind-blowing, yeah. yeah. So now the idea, of course, always in this, is to get yourself down to the ocean uh -huh. and safety and, yep. and to get out. So you're still on your journey now to get down to the ocean, but mm -hmm. you've got to survive along the way. Don't forget you've got that rabbit 
uh, yeah. in, in the back there. So that's going to come in handy yeah. later. That's going to be really good uh, uh, energy, and a real good energy source. It's food. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's just carry on here and see where you end up. Yeah, I see the cabin right there. Oh my gosh, shelter. And some, uh, some, some reindeer moss, I think? No, it is not. It's some kind of plant. Growing from the moss? Yep. Can I pick the plants up? No, I could... That's nope, great. there's, oh, but, but that is, huh. yeah, oh, I know what that is, yes, of course, of course. So, do you know what that is? Oh, isn't it some kind of tinder, maybe? Exactly, that yeah. can help you for fire starter. Yeah, it looks like gonna, some kind of fire starting tinder. That looks yeah, like so what you're doing is, enough, yeah. you're doing a survival, you're, you're, you've got a survival mindset. You see something that's going to help you later, you're mm -hmm. gathering it now, until you yeah. gather this along the way, yep. and it can really help you later. Yeah. Oh, what are these? Reindeer droppings, I think? If I'm correct? Mm -hmm. Caribou skull. The herds migrate oh. through here. That's you a say... good thing. Because people follow caribou. Oh, this uh, is a caribou skull. Yeah, isn't that interesting? But you know what? Since the last time I was in the game, yeah. that is new. The guys put... The developers put something new in there. I don't even know what, uh, why that's there. We'll find out, I guess. Okay. You know what? Doesn't Okay, it doesn't look like you can keep it. No, I don't So it's think just so. there. Yeah. Which is, side. I mean, I come across uh, skeletons and skulls all the time, but the droppings there, what about the droppings? I'm not sure if I can grab it, but let me try. Let me try and see. Nope. But I nope. heard you okay. can use the droppings for fire too sometimes. It, well, it depends on the animal, to be honest with you. Uh-huh. Can you use reindeer droppings <laughs> as fire stars? You can. Wait, really? You can, as long as... You... Yeah, they, they work as a tinder. You get the, They're nice and dry. Because no if you way. think about it, it's reindeer droppings are, are nothing more than than little balls of dried grass. That All right, let's see true. what we got. Yeah, I never thought I'll of it that way, but yeah, that is very true. Oh my god! All right, so I, so let's listen to me now. Yep. Huh? Huh? Am I right? <laughs> oh, come on! What are you looking at? To me, this is a palace, my friend. <laughs> this is an abandoned old hunting and fishing camp. You can see everything around here is rusted, broken down, but that means. It's a place of opportunity and gathering for you. So start wow. looking now. There's all kinds of junk around this place, and every single piece of it is going to help you survive. Wow, okay. You're telling me this is a palace. Okay, if you're going to start a fire with charred cloth, you're going to need a few things. So what were my instructions? So I couldn't hear myself on this end of the line of the stream here that we're doing, but uh, what, what's the, uh, what was my instructions to do? What were my instructions to do? And it can make great tinder. Look at your list of priorities oh, right. and follow them in order. Yep, so you told me that I could use rags uh, to make tinder, but also in the tundra there are uh, there are stuff, and I should look in here to see what I need. Which you already gathered. Fire. You already yeah. gathered the tinder. That's good. I did. Okay, so All right, first... so I don't want to throw you off too much, so just pay attention to the game and see what mm -hmm. you got to do. Yep, yep, no problem. Okay, so I think I need to grab the fires a little bit to get the fire going. Yoink. Right, okay, yep, it's going. Wow. I bet it's a huge relief when you find this kind of, like, um, sheds or some kind of shelters oh, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's, it's a massive relief. And it, and it does happen in a lot of survival situations. You come really? across old abandoned cabins. Sometimes you come across a place that you can break into. And when I say that, it, it's, a, it's legal in a situation where, you, where your life is on the line to be able to break into a remote cabin just to stay alive. So that's okay. And a lot of people in the far north, they don't, nobody ever locks a cabin, ever. Just so if somebody needs it to survive sort of thing. Uh, now, okay. that's a let's just see what you do here. Follow, okay, follow your, your prompts on your... Make sure you're doing the right thing right clue. now. It's the hottest part of the day. Peak solar radiation. You'll need a lens. Now, where can you find a lens? Huh, okay, you told me this is the highest point of the day where the sun's the highest. Use one of the rocks lying around to smash the lens out of the camera. Oh, and I need to use one of the rocks lying down in the camp, which I saw right there, to break the lens of the camera, of course. Well, it's the, yeah, that's it. Whoa, okay. Did I, do I, am yep. I doing it? Now you can grab the lens. Oh, oh. Yeah. And... Do I just... Right, but you can't just put it onto the... Nope, no, you need that lens. 
Yeah. And now you want to, whatever prompts I gave you, because you want to focus the lens onto the uh, fluff. Yeah. Or it might be charred cloth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Light charred cloth with lens. Yes, we did it last time. I totally forgot. That's right. So get the cloth and light it up with this. Now, this can be really hard to do. You need to focus the sun to the smallest spot you can. Okay, so you told me this is really hard to do. I need to focus the sun on the smallest spot that I can. Okay, the sun to the smallest... Well, I'm assuming that's the sun right there, so can I just do it like that? No? How did I do this last time? Did you, did you get it going last time? Yeah, I think so. But I never used the lens last time. I'm pretty sure I just used the... Um, what did the instructions say? So the instruction told me to focus this on the smallest point possible. So I'm assuming there's some kind of light troll close with lens. Yeah. yeah. You told me to focus the lens down on the smallest uh -huh. possible manner throughout through the sun is what I'm getting at. Am I blocking the sunlight? Do I need to drop this there? Nope. Okay. Oh, whoa, okay. I can't. I, I think I saw something. Whoa, whoops. I saw a little prompt there. Oh, no. Hey. Do you have to pick up the charred cloth and take it out of the tin? Oh, oh! There you go. There you go. You, you're almost there. Yep. I'm good. Well, I'm having a little bit of difficulty here. Mm -hmm. it, I tell you what, in real life, it ain't easy to do. <laughs> I imagine not so, especially surviving out in the wilds. Oh no! Come on! Come on! And is it just the charred cloth, or are you supposed to use the tinder too, or is that for later? Um, I think I need to use a charred cloth alone. And What's the what was the instruction right before it that you've already done? Uh, it says add seed stuff. I mean seed fluff to fire pit. Light charred cloth. Wait, okay. Yep. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Whoa! I I think I saw a plant prompt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right there. There you go. There you go. Okay, maybe like this way? No. See, it's an, it, you, you can't say you got me holding my breath. It's, <laughs> it, it, that's the thing about it. It can be so, this is the truth of real survival too. It mm. can be really intense. Nothing's gonna come easy. And, and the patience and timing it takes to get things just right, believe it or not, will pay off in the real world, which is so great that we can have something that we're doing in a VR simulation yeah. That later on, if you ha you were actually holding this in the real world, the points that you had to remember now, you will remember then. Oh no. That's very true. I think I need to make this diamond as small as possible. Right. And I'm assuming the sun's right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Okay. Oh my god, yes! 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 Throw in at least three you got it! Of seed fluff. Okay, what's that? next? And blow on it. Um, I need to put a seed fluff and then blow on it. I'm pretty sure I have one right here and then... How do I blow on it? How do I blow on it? <laughs> I'm actually blowing on it in the real life. Try w moving it back and forth. Waving it back and forth. Whoa, whoa. Are there instructions for you there? Yep. Uh, it just tells me to blow it off. Oh, 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 oh. I need more, I need more uh, seed fluffs in there. So I have to go get more. Right. Oh, oh God. Well, no, didn't you throw a bunch down in the fire pit? Yep, yep. Um, I thought... Can you grab it out of there? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know if you can grab it back. That's why I was curious about when you were throwing it in the fire pit. 
Yep. That needed to stay in your pack. Yeah. See, these are the little mistakes that we make along the way. Oh, jeez. All right. You're going you're gonna to need to get some more. This is going to get tricky. Oh, I, sh I should have definitely got more. When I had the chance to. Well, I, I think the mistake you made was you threw the seed fluff into the fire pit. Oh. Or did it say to do that? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it did tell me to do that. So that, okay. that's why right. I did it. One, two, three. That's a great plan. Yes. Now, yes. Oh. Before you now to the fire pit you go. Yep, yep. Cool. Yep. Oh my god, I can feel that I'm getting slow. All right, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? You really want to get a fire going? You're going to need a lot more tinder and kindling. Yep. You told you me really that. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, no. 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 Oh god, no. No. Wow, that is that is quite something. Wow. Whew. I had to relax a little bit. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, at the end, you told me that, um, you told me at the end, uh, the in-game U-less, not the real U-less, that uh, I need to get warm real soon, and then I think mm. that's where I died. Yep, yep. Oh, my God. So, let's see. Yeah, okay. So, let me just collect the seed fluffs really quick. I think I need six in Yeah, so that, way that, that way they're in your pack and ready to go. Yep, yep. That was, that's what, so in not collecting enough or uh, the first time uh, mm -hmm. and, and then putting them all in the fire pit, the ones that you had, meant you had to come back out here and that's what killed you. Yeah. Because you're just getting too weak, you're getting too cold. Mm -hmm. That was my mistake right there. Oh, and it's amazing to know that in this game you can actually make games and then those little mistakes and you die instantaneously. It's yeah, brutal. Yeah, little... Yep, it's it's how you do things along the way that yeah. matters so much in in every survival situation. So, wow, and it's All just right. incredible. This like having real life consequences in the game of not like picking enough while it was abundant around you is is, whew, it's just so realistic. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. insane. Oh man. Okay, here we go. So uh, same as the last time. Get the woods, drop in there, get the uh, seed fluffs, drop them as well. Break the lens, start a fire. Before, <laughs> preferably yep. this time before I die <laughs> of the cold. You know, in doing a lot of this stuff in the real world, Jackie, is uh, mm -hmm. it, it, it's all about how long it takes you to prepare and to get set up. And it's, that's the thing that most people rush things way too much. Uh, they, they want the shelter, they want the fire, they want the food, they want to get, a, get out of the place, and they want it to happen too quickly. And in reality, um, you actually have to really slow down to do things correctly. Um, because then you just avoid making any mistakes at all. Yeah. And you get to the situation where, where uh, you survive. But whenever you rush things and do it too quickly, not going to happen. All right. So, yeah. so you look at your thing so much better now that you know what you've got to do. Yeah. The more the better, and blow on it. And so now your life lot. There we go. Yes. What happens next? And then I'm pretty sure I need to put. All right. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? You got it. Whoa! We may whoa. have a fire and something to eat, but we need a grill to cook it. The okay, there you go. Me, so I need a grill to cook it. Don't actually freeze to death. You freeze after you've died of hypothermia. And in oh. fact, it's not really all that painful. Some you're telling me I'll die of hypothermia if I don't like get warm. Oh! Huh? What happened? Was I too close to the? Was I too close to I the fire? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I might Maybe been... you did kept in the fire. Whoa. Yeah, I think I, I think that was that might have been the problem. Oh god, yeah, no, I shouldn't have put my face directly in the fire, huh? <laughs> now that mm. I think about it, that makes a lot of sense. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just doing this quickly again. It won't even take five minutes. But oh Use my god. One of the rocks lying around to smash the lens out of the camera. Yep. And after this, I'll get the droppings, the seeds. Whew. Oh my, oh my. 
Okay. Was there any berries in there? Uh, I don't yeah. think there was. Wow. Sometimes and you know, there's... this is true to yeah. form that you know in a real you know in a real survival situation. The the more you practice something, um, uh, the more you know. Then actually, the faster you do get, you know, and you're able to affect survival much quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you know, you can't act too quickly. It's like when you're crossing the ice. There, there's just yeah. no point in doing anything too quickly, or you're gonna die. And mm -hmm. that's a real. You're gonna really die, you know. So, uh, so here, yeah, you, you, now you're much quicker. You know why you're getting this. You don't have to think about it. Yep, you know yep. you want to get fire. You know you're getting cold, so you know you want to get a fire going. Now you know how to do it. It's mm -hmm. a, it's so much, you know, easier once that knowledge is in your brain, and that's the way survival actually works out there. Because you 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 carry on, you move forward. But like, so when I'm out in a survival situation, I move with a lot of confidence because for the most part, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. But as soon as I don't know what I'm doing, I slow, 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 slow down in a uh, very big way. And that's, that's what works for me. Yeah, that's true. Okay, There's a saying, the more you hurry, there might be a chance clock. that so the more mistakes you'll make. So you got to go slow. Yep. Now, See, look at, like, now you're, do you're, you're doing this like a pro now. You got to hold it. <laughs> You have to really hold it too, like you did before, or or then that's the way it is. It's so in the real world, it's very tricky, very delicate, uh, and you have to hold it for a long time. You know, right. yeah. yeah that's pretty, look at that. See how you there did you that? Now yeah, yeah, you got the fuel down. You know, get those guys in there. <laughs> that's a great flame. Then we go to the real fire. Mm -hmm. Before you burn up all the tinder. Okay. You got it. Yes, I got it. We may have a fire and something to eat. But we need a grill to cook it. I think I saw one All right, let's carry on from here. Yep. Don't so... fall in the fire this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. Can I put this back? Yes, I can. Nice. You're telling me that I need a like grill? Float, yeah. Owns it, didn't leave a paddle. You'll need one if you want to take this canoe down river. Oh, okay. You're telling me that the owner didn't leave a paddle and I need one if, I'm, if I have to take it down the river. All right, but first, first, let's get you some food. Yeah, I need a grill, fine grill, and cook arctic hair. Oh my, yeah, the, yeah. the little cute hair. Okay, our body temperature is 37. I think it's good enough. Whoa, look at that, energy bars. Yes. Oh my. Well, that's a, that's a, that's a gas line right there. Oh, oh, look at that. Perfect. Did you find the grill? So yeah, I think this might be a good There grill. we go, there it is. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa. Perfect. Cook the rabbit time. Oh, I'm so sorry, little rabbit. I gotta eat you to survive. That's how it is. That's, that's life. Wait a second. Can I just drop in there? Do I need yep. to cook him a little bit? Oh my god, yeah, I can. Whoa. Oh no. Well, thanks for the food, I guess. <laughs> oh wow, okay. I got, I got a lot of calories. Whoa. Hello, Les. <sighs> Don't you just love a good mug of hot chocolate? Oh, hot chocolate. Sorry. I love some That's hot chocolate. That's just me. You don't have any. But you've done me proud just the same. You came down off the mountain. You crossed a glacier. Traversed the Arctic tundra. Uh -huh. Even got yourself across a treacherous river. And that's tough. And now you're sitting here with your belly full of Arctic hair. Yep. Well, way to go. Belly you know that canoe you found? Hair. We're going to leave that until tomorrow. Because right now, you need something more important. You need sleep. I need something Exhaustion. important. Sleep. So close your eyes and get yep. some rest. Right. You get to have it. some sleep in the cabin. Oh, nice fire, by the way. And I should, if I remember correctly, I wake you up in the morning. Okay. Okay, let's get some long-deserved sleep. We had a long, long journey. Oh, my God. That was, a, that was an incredible journey. Just, just that right there. Okay. Oh. Well, good morning. There's caribou migrating through here, so there's oh. got to be some dung. See if you can find some old, dry caribou dung, and I'll right. show you a trick. Okay, you're telling me to find old caribou dungs, which I think I found right there, and you're telling me that you're, you can show me a little trick. Oh my god, what is that? Oh yeah, because it's just morning. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, we took, took really great you know lengths mm -hmm. to to deal with the lighting of the arctic and the beauty of the surroundings yeah oh wow it's it's serene 
Yeah, I'm just taking a little bit. Whew. Okay, so these are the dungs. I think I can pick them up right now. Yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. and don't forget the skull. Oh, yes. I'm just gonna pick all the dungs that I can. And I'm gonna pick up the skull. And I'll pick the skull now. The herds migrate through here. Oh, that's never a good mind. Thing, because people follow caribou. Nope. I'm just gonna. I'm still gonna take it with me though. <laughs> yeah. a little trophy. Okay. I hope that was all the dung that I needed. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't actually so much the skull that you need. It's more the dung that you need. Yeah. It's just kind of fun. <laughs> It'll be my friend now. I'll name it uh, Jackie Junior. And what you can do me. now. Yep. And let's see if I let's see if I give you some instructions here. Uh, okay. But what you can do now is you can add the dung to your tin. Oh. Oh, right there. Okay. Place dung in the tin. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Definitely. Oh, I thought you were gonna say uh, speak in game, but I don't think that was the case. Okay, that was that's one. Oh, just just one. Okay. And. Place amber in the tin. Okay, so pretty sure this is the amber. If you close up the tin, the little bit of oxygen getting yep. in there should keep the dung. Now that uh, now will will smolder and be a fire for you for later. Oh wow, that is so cool. Okay, so a little canoe. What do you need to do now? Place, well, you're gonna need a. Yeah, you're gonna need to make a paddle. Oh yeah, right, 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 right here. I think we can make a paddle from your pole. Use the axe and chop up some of those planks. Have you looked inside the cabin yet? Nope, I haven't. Oh wow, okay, there's an axe right there. No, there you go. And I need to chop off some planks. Oh wow, okay, I did actually chop it off. Oh, and yeah, I see it right there. Whoa, an axe. Just just on the shed. Okay, can I just grab mm -hmm. this? So, yes, I can. Oh, look at that. Nice. Can I chop more stuff up? That's pretty fun. <laughs> it's really fun hanging this around. <laughs> okay, let's put that in there. Maybe not. Whoop. Place pull on barrels. Okay, I need to place a pull first. There you go. What was the next step? Chop up wooden door, which I think I did. Attach pedal blades. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I should put close, or maybe it could be that um, I have chopped up the chopped up the door. Think about think about the shape shape. Think about the shape of a paddle. Oh. Is it like that, maybe? Maybe this is for the other piece? Yes! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Les. I was mm. like, is this how it goes? Yeah, no, I was, I, I, I mean, this is the thing, this is the thing, right, Jackie, is you do have to think. Yeah. You have to think your way through. You, the game isn't just gonna, gonna do it for you. You've gotta really think about what it is you're doing each time. So yeah. keep following the prompts and see where we're at. Okay. I mean, you can't just do things wrongly. You have to do them correctly, which is pretty cool. Yep. Pin and wire all together. Okay, I have to wire right here. So I can just put the wire, I think, all together. Yes, some wire. I can come in very, very handy. Should I chop up the wire? You told me that wires can come handy. Pin and wire all together. Do I have to put them in there like that? Nope. I don't even remember myself how we did, how we got that to work. Huh. But keep, keep looking around. Yep, yep. Is that pin and wire all together? Pretty sure that's not it, but I'm just trying just to see that it's not what it is. Pin and wire all together. Pin and wire all together. Maybe some rocks will be able to help me. Nope. Maybe there's uh, there's something that I can use here. 
This was, uh, yep, this was just a compass. This was the droppings, lens. No. I, <clears throat> I'm not sure if wires are easy to cut down with your hands. But no, I'm not. I'm not sure. You gotta figure this out. No. Nope. Oh, What's going on with the circle on the ground there and the axe? What's that all about? I think that's where. Um. Oh wait. Do I have to? Just to show you. Yeah, I think this is just to show me where. Yeah. Where I need to be. <clears throat> pin and wire all together. What? Well, wait a second. Is it, what do you mean, oh. pin, pin and wire all together? Yep. So is that what right it says? Here. So where are the pins then? Yeah, where are the pins? Is there something in the in the shack, maybe? Maybe. Is there something I haven't looked at? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe I haven't chopped enough. <laughs> Come here, axe! I had to chop more wood. No, I don't see no prompts. So maybe not, maybe they're not... Maybe they're not that. <clears throat> oh, wait, I see it. Right there. Two nails. Uh -huh. Whoa. Whoa. Heck yeah. Okay, one and two. Right there. Okay, now wire it all together. Okay, wire it all together. Whoops. Let me just get rid of that. Shoot. Yep, yep. Yes. Yep. Hey, 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 there we go. Whoa! Now let's get down the That's road. better. You'll have a better shot at being Kaboom. On the coast. Oh my god! So it was all in how you were manipulating it. Yep. There you go, look at that. Oh, look at that amazing paddle, heck yeah! Whoa, okay. But yeah, I guess we'll have to end the stream here. But I'll be sure to uh, come to this point at the last time. Hopefully, uh, if, if you're okay, I'd love to do another stream, but we'll see about that. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I want to see you get... I want to see you get to the end. I mean, there's a, yes. we, we, you, you still got to deal. I'll tell you, I'm going to give you a spoiler alert. You still have to deal with a polar bear. What? No way. A polar bear? Oh. Yeah. Isn't the polar bear the one of the fiercest bears in this world? There is like so much bigger than grizzly bears. I have to deal with a polar bear? Oh, man. You do. <laughs> I'm you pretty do. excited and, and, and horrified at the same time. Oh, wow. Whew. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, this was uh, this was Jackie, your host, and it was Les Strout. Yep, thank you, Jackie. We'll pick it up at the cabin next time. Yep, so uh, just to remind everyone, Survivor VR is out now in PS uh, VR and stream and everywhere that you can find it. So make sure to uh, make a wish list and buy it right now. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Les, so much. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye, Jackie.